In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to get rid of and hide adverts in Outlook email, specifically in Microsoft 365. Let's dive in and see how you can have a cleaner, more streamlined email experience. First, we begin by navigating to the Outlook login page. Here, you'll wanna click on the sign in button. It's a straightforward step that gets you started on accessing your Outlook account. Now, on the sign in page, it's time to enter your login details. Make sure you type in your email address and password accurately to avoid any login issues. After you've entered this information, go ahead and click next to proceed. Once you're successfully logged in, you'll find yourself at the Outlook dashboard, which is the main interface where you manage your emails. Now, here's an important consideration. When it comes to removing ads in the web version of Outlook, you need to be a fully subscribed user. This means subscribing to Microsoft's premium services. Unfortunately, those of us who have not upgraded to a full subscription will still encounter these advertisements as the web-based Outlook doesn't provide an option to remove them otherwise. However, there's a silver lining if you're using the desktop version of Outlook. Here in the desktop application, you won't see any adverts, even if you're not a fully subscribed user. This offers a more seamless experience where you can focus entirely on your emails without the distraction of ads. So to recap, if you prefer using Web Outlook and want an ad-free experience, consider subscribing to Microsoft 365's premium plan. This subscription not only removes ads, but also gives you access to additional features and enhanced capabilities tailored for business and personal productivity. On the other hand, if you're content with the desktop version and its features, you can enjoy it without the intrusion of ads, regardless of your subscription status. As we wrap up, I'd like to reiterate that choosing between the web and desktop versions really comes down to your personal preference and whether you're willing to invest in a subscription service. If an ad-free interface is important to you, either opting for the desktop version or investing in a subscription might be the way to go. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this guide helpful. Whether you decide to subscribe or switch to the desktop application, may your Outlook experience be efficient and clutter-free. If you have any more questions or need further clarification on anything Outlook related, feel free to leave a comment below. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.